All right, we have another match. Let's get to this next one. We're going to get into UNT Decus versus FX's own Shokyo, the African line. So we got Zero Suit versus Ganon. I'm pretty sure this matchup was actually 100 0. Yeah, I, I have no idea what slow characters are supposed to do to Zero Suit. They and he's a terrible, terrible combo weight for her. I don't. You know, Just atrocious. The thing that's that's so hard to deal with with ZSS is if she so up throw or up tilt, <coughs> she gets either of those off, and I'm generally at the mercies of up airs and the tech chases on the platforms. Um, and then. When it comes to the spacing game, she also has a couple of odd tools that she she'll use against you. I think I, I really don't think there's a lot that Ganon has that's fast enough that can deal with this character. Yeah, as like I've played Zelda versus Shokyo before, and those matches have been on streams. And catching him is just it's just not possible. You just can't do it. I think there's definitely something to be said about um, characters that just outclass others in terms of speed. And I think once the mo one of the more centric themes, though, of Smash and what makes good characters is the ability to cover space, yeah. cover it effectively, whether that's through your movement or through your range of your attacks, right? Ganon, I feel like, just gets outclassed in all those areas, in both of those areas by someone like CSS. Yeah, honestly, I think uh, Zero Suit and Captain Falcon have a lot in common. Both of them have just have really degenerate movement against a huge swath of the cast. Uh, something that... If you guys look at the different frame data, each character has a designated run speed. It's, a, it's like a, a value. You just look it up. And uh, once you hit a certain value, which is around 1.9, give or take, mm. a lot of characters just drop off the ability to interact with you whatsoever. So, like, uh, for reference, Marth and Sheik are both at 1.8. And DK is pretty close to that, too. I think he's at also at 1.8. But any characters that are just slightly faster than that, it suddenly gets really, really hard to interact with them. And obviously, Zero Suit and Falcon are way above that. I have no idea what either what slow characters are supposed to do about either of those characters. <laughs> but for Zero Suit, it's particularly more obvious because her moves don't have the same startup that Falcons do. Well, Shok, uh, Shok has done a good job, though, of dictating the pace with that SD there. Puts things back in Decca's favor. Not for very long. 13% is the only difference on extra credit. I, I we, we saw Shok completely hold tempo of this game. I won't be surprised for him to, to just pick it up again. But I think that Dekus might have got a little bit more information. He's doing a little bit better in terms of where he's spacing, but his choices for moves, you're noticing that he's doing something really, really early, guessing where Shok is going to be. And then he, it comes out and it's... It, the thing is, is that all this stuff is really reactive. There's a lot of startup on Ganon's moves. And someone like Shok, who's really trained to seeing that, because he plays guys like Chewie all the time, can react really well. I mean, I'm pretty sure playing against Chewie is a good way to not be practiced against the character. <laughs> <laughs> he plays like nobody else. Man. He plays with F tilt, yeah, but if you can react to F tilt, like you're good. <laughs> That's one of his faster moves. Mm. Yeah, sorry, Ripple. I don't think she can Marth have a 1.9 run speed. You're gonna have to take a screenshot of that one. Mm. Follow ups. Okay. Ooh, he's gonna take him over to the side. Drop down fair. Ooh, there it is. I'm not really sure how Deep Cruise is in this match. I mean, he's he's playing pretty well, but this match sucks, dude. <laughs> Shok, it's just really bad. Shulk throwing away a stock? Okay, that face, <coughs> that's the face of someone who just got hit with fair. That exact feeling that I described earlier, where you watched him jump squat, where you watched him pull his hand back, where you watched him go forward as he yells at you, and then hits you with fair, and then you explode, and then you teleport to the blast zone, and you lose everything? And that feeling that you're left with, that emptiness of, oh god, I just got hit with fair. Dude, when, uh, when everybody first saw the, like, the remade Ganon at 3.5, a lot of people said he was too good. I'm like, no, he, this is perfect. <laughs> this, is, this is the symbol of excellence right here. Oh, uh, show take it a minute. He's yeah, I mean, Duke, Deku's is pretty good. He, we have so many players here that are like, what would be good players in other regions to the point where it's kind of silly how much nobody knows who they are. Yeah. yeah. Like, if we took some of our guys and we just dropped them off in random parts of the U.S., they probably would be top tier, or at least on the PR. Mm. Yeah, but like, every once in a while, I, I start to think I'm, like, getting worse at this game. Like, it kind of sucks. People are, like, catching up to me or whatever. And then I play it, people are, like, Paragon. And I'm like, oh, I'm actually godly at this game. <laughs> <laughs> our Whoops. region's just dope. Yeah, it's really good. Oh. Okay, there it is. Catch him with the reverse part of the Nair. Shoke doing his best to see if he can box him out. 
Ledge cancels and then tries from the down, from the dive kick, tries to back air immediately. Mm. Choke does, does nice little technical things from time to time. He just mixes it in. He's not all about the tech, but whenever he does it, it's nice. To see. It's just a touch, just a taste. Nice angled forward tilt. That forward tilt really, really kills. <laughs> oh well. Mm. Okay, I want to see if Dekas is just gonna have to catch him with that down V off stage. Like, you think so? I, I don't think so, man. If he'll do so, he just tried to do down B right there. Yeah, but that's not off stage. Catching Josu off stage is already pretty challenging. Like, I'm talking, he stays at the ledge and then just down B, goes horizontal and catches there. I don't think it's going to happen, but I'd be interested to see if he actually is willing to do it. I mean, I'd like to see if he's willing to do it. I think he'd be suicidal. <laughs> I think that'd be a waste of stock, but we will see. We will see. I, I think what it is for me is I like seeing uh, what kind of Ganon player you are. Are you the nut, or are you someone that has a fair amount of control to it? From what I've been seeing, Dekas has a fair amount of control to him. He's not trying to do overly crazy things. He does a good job of spacing his tools. I think he dashes actually a little bit too much, but overall, I think he does a good job. That was a misspaced fair, and Shok not getting, getting away with only a little bit of a punish there. Nice cape. I'm not gonna lie, whenever I play Ganon, it's only the chain grab. <laughs> 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 I feel like everybody knows exactly that kind of that brand of dirtbag. Oh, that was cool. Up smash kill. Got him. I don't think these characters could be more opposite. Yeah, they really are. It's really the, the opposite sides of the paradigm. Mm. So what what do Ganon players need to do, though, if you're going to be actually able to win this matchup? I feel like... I have no idea. I feel like Dekus is showing us. He's showing us he's, he's, take, he's being patient. He's not doing too many crazy things. He's making the most out of his movement. So whenever he gets just a chance to land and then wait... Oh, good dive kick. Intercepted. He's done. Dude, his dive kicks are really good. I, I don't know, dude. I feel like there's that... Dekus is just showing us you need to be patient. And space your aerials really well. That's the thing, though. Zero Suit wins the long game, too. It's not even like being patient pays off for Ganon better than it pays off for Zero Suit. Yeah, but I mean... If one character wants to be patient, it's the Zero Suit. We see so many Ganons, though, really just are, want to go in and go ham hocks. They want to just go in with bears. Over, and it's well, you kind of have to if your character consistently loses neutral. I mean, you're not winning the long game. You kind of have to play to your outs. Right? Yeah. Like, Oh gosh, is he still going to be able to live here though? She's fast and she's got a gun and she and she uh, she's ramen. got a whip. The instant stuff. Zero Suit's entire character is basically built such that you run into her moves until you die. <laughs> so if you're a character that isn't fast, then you just run into her moves and you die. Like that's it. So I have no idea what you're supposed to do. Well, <coughs> and and Deck is both pieces of their character sticking to their loyalty. Moving into this next game over here on Green Hill Zone. So, what are some advantages that that you feel like uh, CSS gains here? None. <laughs> That's why it's Ganon's counter pick, I think. Is it? Is it Shokyo's counter pick? Shoke won last game. He I lost have, first game. I have no idea, dude. Actually, no idea. I don't know why. If you're playing Zero Suit, I have no idea why you wouldn't just accept that you win neutral over and over and take your free W on a big stage. <laughs> I think the other thing that, that's really important to do against someone, uh, well, a lot of these seven characters, is just hold ledge and uh, force them to come up and try to react to how they're coming back onto the stage. Whether they're staying in place when they jump up or they're going straight onto the, onto the stage. And then I think with Ganon, you can punish both of those. So can Falcon with up air if you just time it correctly. Maybe it's just that Ganon has an atrocious combo and he just wants to do nasty things to him. I don't know. I think Shokyo actually just really likes the stage, but uh, to be honest, I don't think like Zero Suit's particularly good at it compared to anything else. Oh my god, the down B. Like, that's that's another one of those feelings that I get where it's like, there were, this was literally the only thing you could have done at that range and I got hit by it. Oh, I feel bad. Dude, I got the shots fired. Oh yeah? Yeah, somebody says, uh, how do you play without being fast? Classic Sheik main. I'll have you know that I play a lot of Zelda and I played melee Zelda. <laughs> and uh... I mean, you can play around speed to a point, but there comes a point where you, you just don't. I think that um, when I talk to people about playing as a Sheik in this game, 
they either they say that either you're really good or you're just really shite. You know what I mean? Like you're not, you're not. I don't know. I I keep talking to more and more people, and they're just like, yeah, you just have a long way to go. For for me, as someone who's just recently picking up heat, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of stuff I have to work on, but uh, they they people make it sound like there's this big gap in, in between like low level to high level players, like not that many. I would players. say not only is there not that big of a gap, I would say that the skill gap in this game is overrated in general. Yeah. Because like there's definitely times when good players have issues with totally random players. And that's not because like the game is undeveloped or whatever. That's just because like totally random players can be actually good at this game. Yeah. Whenever we have new people here, I always love to play them because I know I'm always in for a surprise. Like Sometimes I said, you find really cool, like really nice gems in the rough. Yeah, like I sat down earlier and I, I played some kid I've never seen before and he just was good at Ness. And I was like, you know what? That's actually really cool. Because if I hadn't sat down and just played him, I would, there's no way I would have seen that. Yeah. Gosh. What? Dude, he's just kind of... That was a tech club that, that really ended up hurting him. Zekas is, is actually, like, really surprising me here. He's, he's holding his own with Ganon against Shoke. One of the finest that we have here in Dallas. Dude, that's like the third reverse grab he's gotten. He's getting him. Look at Shoke. Shoke is smiling. That might do it. Shoke is going to have to hold it here. Hold positioning. There's the Nair. Follows up with the last hit of the fan. Oh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't think he had it. He got it. That was nice. That... That <laughs> just goes to show you. He we like, we he straight up counted Hoza. out Ganon. Like we saw the Ganon come, and we're like, it's not gonna happen. I mean, and we weren't we weren't wrong. We it, didn't, wrong. it didn't happen. But it was a lot closer than I think either. It, one it was it was not a blowout like it probably should have been. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of things going against him. We were playing against the one and only African Roy Shokyo himself. The third best zero suit in DFW. <laughs> I thought it was four. okay. Oh, the fourth best. But. That's right. Wait, who's number three then? I don't know. 